So on this little adventure we're off out camping in the Kilpatrick Hills. Off out at... No! Off out well camping. So in this little adventure we're off out well camping in the Kilpatrick Hills and that little bad boy there is Loch Humphrey. Right, so tonight's sleeping system, I've got with me the Dutch Army bivvy bag. I've not had this bad boy out in, what, a good part of a year? And now that we're entering the warm summer nights, the beasties are about to come out to play, so this is my last opportunity to take this out in this camping term. So really looking forward to waking up and seeing this beautiful environment. Now it's, again it's the Dutch Army Gore-Tex one. I've had it confirmed as the official Gore-Tex uh, bivvy bag by the Dutch Army, thanks to Button Outdoors. Um, I got it for £50 and you know it's done me great every time I've had it and to be honest with you I find the bivvy bags to be a whole lot warmer than sleeping in a tent and I think it's because it's you're in a more tight and closed space so it helps with the ambient temperature and as you can see it is quite a big bivvy bag it's got plenty of room to the side here so in emergency conditions you can definitely get two people in here there's also an abundance of space up at the top where you can get your backpack, your spare clothes, your electronic gear, whatever. So it is a bulky um, bivvy bag. Weighs in at one kilogram or just over one kilogram as well, so it's not the most lightweight. But it does have a little reputation within the camping community. I've got with me the OEX, no it's not the OEX liner, it's a Mikio inner liner I think it's called. I'm going for a warm sleep tonight. That will go over my face, um, it's microfiber so it helps keep the face warm in colder nights and it also protect, protects the lifespan of the sleeping bag. Sleeping bag is the Black Ice G700, comfort minus 5, limit minus 10, but temperatures have to get down to about 3 Celsius tonight so should more than do the job. I've got my flannel pillow as well and I've not had it out in a while so I've got the Firmarest Neoware X Lite now that I'm having better and deeper sleeps. Let's see how that bad boy goes. And I've also got the Big Agnes for degree with me as well. Right, Nikki, what have you got for this evening? The Koshi 2 Wild Country by Terra Nova. It's just like the Van Gogh Banshee, ain't it? Yep, very similar. And very what, similar. what does it weigh in that? 2.1 kilograms. 2.1 kilograms, I think that's about 300 kilograms lighter than the Van Gogh Banshee. Yeah, I think the Banshee is heavier. It's got two vestibules. Yeah, they good sizes as well. Good size vestibules, you've got four pockets, a lantern hanging point, yep. any other. You know, features to the tent. It's got two ventilation ports, I believe one at the yep. top and one at one the bottom. At the bottom. Four guy out points. I don't like that. I think I would. I mean, I don't. I, I'm not a big fan of. I would rather have more. Oh I, yeah, that's a I thing. Just, I just feel that that's not. There's a lot of tents. I don't feel secure with it. Like if it was out in wind, I don't think. But There's a lot of tents out there that don't have enough guy out points. I feel like um, they could have got you know two extra on the either end of that pole and two extra on the either end of that pole as well. It just seems like that the guy out points are at the what do you call it ventilation ports. Yeah, they are. And this it will probably add a little bit of structural integrity to the tent and those strong winds, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm, aye, that's quite annoying, the lack of guy out points. Did you not say you could double up the poles as well? 
You can double up the poles, um, that's Thank what you. the extra eyelet's for as well. Because okay. I wasn't sure about that. I actually took a photo of that because I was going to ask. I wasn't too sure whether that was for that, but... I'm aware of the concept of doubling up poles, but I've never engaged in such activity in my camping, you know, experience myself. Um, it was my little buddy in the previous video. video um, ca um, ca Cassa. Cassie, Cassie. Yeah. I'm mixing it up with Craig's girlfriend, Kasha and uh, Cassie. She was telling me, look, yep, you can double it up. That's yeah. what the additional eyelet's for, yeah, but I've that. never actually seen anyone done it in any video as well. No. It's but weight, what's the sleeping system for this evening? Same as last time, only because I really like it. So it's the Rabasent 700, but I do have the Sea to Summit Thermalite sleeping liner, which I think the dog's going to have because I forgot her blanket. <laughs> uh, I reckon the wee dog will be fine in these temperatures. We'll see. And what's the She's sleep? got her own wee sleep mat as well. And I've still got, I've got the Robins again, which is 2.2. Our value. Our value. Perfect. And the Thermarest three quarter length. I, I, I like that sleep system, so I'm not going to change it till sort of summer comes in. I don't think. So it's like the Robins Co cell phone mat, and then you've got the same mat as me, but the three quarter length one. Yeah. And the dog sleeping mats, the Co yeah, cell phone mat, yeah, the little silver wee, one. She's got, wee, she's got a wee one for herself. So. She'll, Ladies she'll and gentlemen. Will of the wisp. Will of the, the wisp. Will of the wisp. Why the wisp? Oh, you're too young to know it. <laughs> it was a program. Apparently uh, there was too young to know. there was someone else in the live stream last night that were talking about Postman. No, not Postman Pat, but it, it, it came across as a rip off as Postman Pat. I don't know. I I'm probably sleeping by that point. Ah, oh, it's pain <laughs> in the backside. But um, Nikki's not had the opportunity to take it out in adverse weather, heavy rain or strong winds, because this is the second time you've had it out. Yeah. And like the last time, it's you know sustained dry. Relatively mild weather. I think I'd be more happy than in that than I was in the helix. So, ah, uh, uh, yeah, there's certainly more headroom, and uh, it does seem more yeah, robust. Set up in it. Me and Lisa last week we both managed to set up in it, no problem. So I think you'd struggle, but the good side, the, the the positive compared to that, comparing that to the helix, the inner doesn't sag. <laughs> it doesn't collapse and it doesn't leak. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay. Nature's cloakroom. This weekend we're off out camping at Loch Humphrey, which is based in the old Kilpatrick Hills, yeah. which is just outside Glasgow. To give you an idea where it is, look for the little town of Strathblane. To the west of Strathblane, you've got the Kilpatrick Hills, and to the east of Strathblane, you've got the Campsey Fells, and then to the north of Strathblane, you've got the Trossex National Park. Um, it's got a super abundance, not a super abundance, but it's got a good number of locks up here. But this Loch Humphrey is like the main one. I think it's the only one with like a woodland as well. Yeah. But apparently there's plenty of camping spots over there, here and the other side of the loch. Now, right now we're about, I checked it, 380 metres above sea level. Glasgow city centre at its lowest, I believe is sitting around the 20, 30 metre mark. So you've got what a 350 meter climb but it's a stroll in the park Ad adequate parking down at the bottom in the little town that's also called Kilpatrick. is it called old kilpatrick or just yeah. kilpatrick no, it's old kilpatrick. little town down old kilpatrick it's an area that's rich in trails that joins all the little locks that you would find up here um it's got some stunning forestry already the april colors not the autonomous colors but the not the april colors the so what's this spring. season called? Spring? Jeez, oh, it's old further, age. One of the reservoirs further down has got trees as well. I can't, is it Richmond? I can't remember. It's one of the first ones if you're coming up the other way. And that's got trees as well. It's got forestry. So I know, look, a little reservoir's got forestry as well. Is it known for its camping spots? Or is, it, is this, is this really the camping? <laughs> from what I've heard, from what I've seen on YouTube and other people, this is the main camping area in the old Kilpatrick Hills. It's got that stunning lock there forestry you've got some trails it's also known for its wild pylons that grow naturally in nature they are scattered about everywhere and you also have the young team which is known to there. populate that area around the dam but that's us all set up for the evening um, what else have we got we've got river clyde as well i'll get you some shots of the river clyde muri shields is it muri shields country muri park shields country parks just muri shields country park which is to the south 
but it's a gorgeous area, there's lots to do, there's lots to see and... You can also see right over Loch Lomond when you just go up the hill there. you go. I can't remember the name of them. Head at the other side of the old Kilpatrick Hills and boom, we've got Loch Lomond. Um, but that's us all set up, what we're going to do now is get the little fire pit set up. I've created like a little moat as such, so that if a spark does fall off, the fire won't spread, but we're going to keep it small, nice and contained. And it's then... Anyway just now. Uh, it's not cold at all, I think temperatures, again I get down to about 3 celsius but right now I think it's still in about 12 celsius, that is one plus the trees are doing a great job at trapping heat as well, uh, more so at night and then do some bushcrafting and dinner. Start using that mm -hmm. just over the course of a day, or it'll just go away. I actually love that smell. Manis. Have you got the barrel? Oh. That isn't a good one. Oh. Don't know if that'll work. Let's see. I'm not supposed to rip it apart, but. It's a cracking little spot for a fire. You've got an abundance of uh, deadfall kindling all s different sizes of branches and uh, logs. You can get a good, good little bushcraft course in here. And oh, there's a bottle of vodka. I'll, I'll need to take that home. But absolute ideal conditions um, for some bushcrafting. So we've got a jambalaya on the go in this little pot here we've got rice on the go and within the frying pan we have tomato sauce we have mixed beans we've got peppers chilies broccoli and is mushroom in there as well no, you don't like no because i don't like mushroom but what else we've we got we've got spinach and i believe there's a few other things missing as well we've got spinach what else is that it? Just spinach? I'll just get spinach to add in as well. So it's three o'clock in the morning thanks to losing an extra hour due to daylight savings so 
unhappy with that. I was hoping to go and climb several Monroes tomorrow. But this evening spiralled out of control, plus losing that extra hour. But we just sat up, watched the stars, enjoyed a little fire, and had some jambalaya. This week's entertainment was the M people. Um, we had some Enya. We had some John Hopkins. You love her because she's dead. We tried to source some Enrique Iglesias, but we don't have a signal, sadly. So now, just going to head to bed. And I'm really looking, really looking forward, sorry, really looking forward to tonight's sleep in the bivvy. So, thanks for joining, guys, and I'll catch you all in the morning. So that's us signing out. We're just about packed up and ready. That's us signing out. We're just about packed up and ready to go. We have tidied the area up, leave no trace. And the fire looks relatively new as well. So I'm away to climb some Monroe's. Nicky's away to get some errands done. And thanks again for watching, guys. We'd appreciate it if you smashed the like button, dropped a comment, and subscribed to the channel. So. Take care you all and see you on the next adventure.